What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do the Bring Back the Intimacy reading for the sign of Virgo. Okay, Virgo, you are last but not least this week on the Zodiac lineup, okay, for the week. Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? These, this video in particular is for 18 and up because these cards are racy, okay? And there is nudity on these cards, okay? So if you are not old enough or not mature enough, you need to go, okay? So <laughs> hopefully you guys are familiar with the Bring Back the Intimacy readings. It's just, um, you consider it like a love reading, if you will. Some people probably do by now. I sometimes do. Um, but it also taps into um, how you can bring some intimacy into your relationship, okay? We will pull three cards from the Sexual Magic Tarot deck. We will pull one card from the Goddess deck for the Divine Feminines. And we'll pull an Animal Spirit for the masculines, okay? Either one you can switch, okay? Whichever one you resonate more with, whether it does not matter if it is a masculine or a feminine, okay? I've explained this a couple of times on these videos. I think everybody should get it by now, so I'm not gonna go through the whole spiel, okay? So with that being said, let's get into yours, Virgo. I try not to make these too long, okay? We've already shuffled all the decks okay so I'm pulling one from the top one directly from the bottom and one directly from the middle for you Virgo and I think I want to go here with it okay we're not looking at the bottom of the deck okay so hopefully you guys can see pretty well I'll hold the cards up uh, to the screen so that way you can see them okay So, we have the Magician for you, Virgos, starting out, okay? We have the Four of Pentacles here, okay? And then we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? Virgos, what is going on with you? Okay. I feel, Virgos, like you are possibly holding back from someone. Okay. Um, I feel like this cat and mouse type vibe. Okay. I'm also feeling as though maybe you haven't been really dating in a while or you don't really have anyone in particular that's you know tickling your fancy if you will okay um but you are trying to get out there or you've kind of like put romance or intimacy to the side for a bit um because you've been working so much okay so You've kind of been holding back from some form of intimacy. Somebody's been wanting to be intimate with you, okay? Um, the Six of Pentacles being here, um, she is looking like either into a mirror or at a painting of some sort, okay? So you could be reminiscing about someone um, who has tried to get close to you, okay? Um, you may have thought they were playing games with you possibly. Um, and so, like I said, I feel like this cat and mouse type vibe where it's like you like the chase in a sense, um, but you're also a little nervous about getting into something or getting intimate with someone as maybe you've had your heart broken in the past, okay? Don't go into it 
Virgos um, with expectations, okay? Um, just be very lighthearted, you know. Um, it only has to go as far as you want it to go, okay? Um, if your intention is to eventually end up in some form of a relationship, then you have to be able to open yourself up to having a relationship with someone, okay? If that is what you want, okay? It can't, don't primarily think that this person is trying to manipulate you or anything like that. Um, they're not being forceful. It's like they're just trying to figure out what it is that you like with this magician being here um, at the front of the helm, okay? They're just trying to figure you out. What are your likes? What are your dislikes? Okay? Um, even if you have been possibly intimate with this person, they try different things with you. Um, and like within this four of pentacles, she's like laying there and her breasts is out, her breasts are out, but he's like on the side, like, hey, are you, are you up? Hey. <laughs> like, or you know he could be you know nervous about touching you in a certain way and you're probably acting like you're sleep holding back from him when you really want to pounce on him but you don't want to seem you know or her you don't want to seem you know too aggressive or anything like that so you probably do this play sleep vibe um with him or her so um and letting him, you know, experiment in a way, um, or her. So just, you know, if, if you're not looking to get too intimate or too, you know, deep in it, you're not ready to really do the act, but you like the making out, the cuddling, the caressing, things of that nature, that's fine. You need to tell this person, okay? Um, because you do kind of crave, but in the background, sounds like you do crave a relationship. Um, maybe you're trying to establish whether or not if it is a relationship that you're in with this person um, or not, okay? Um, it may be time for that conversation, but before you have that conversation, you need to have um, a one-on-one -on -one with yourself on if that is what you want or if you just want to, you know, play the field a little bit. Um, but I, I don't think you do. I think you have someone in your sights. You're just not sure if they're the right one because you think they're being manipulative. But they're not. They're just trying to learn you, okay? As you should be trying to learn them, okay? And if you're going into this relationship with a negative connotation, then a negative connotation is what you're going to get, okay? So if you think this person is being manipulative, then you're always in an assumption mode. And then they end up doing exactly what it is that you thought they were going to do. You kind of bring that to your reality uh, quicker than later, okay? So give them a chance, okay? Um, have those conversations. I would suggest, you know, just bringing it, bringing it up like, you know, and not like you're in, interrogating them, but just, you know, be honest that, you know, it's been a while since you've been in a relationship. You don't really know, you know, what their intentions are. Just ask them what their intentions are. Do they want a relationship? Do they just want to, you know, take it slow? Taking it slow means, you know, possibly light cuddling, no real sexual acts, you know, but just really learning each other's bodies, mind, and spirit. Okay, so have those little light conversations and maybe that will help ease your mind a little bit, Virgo, when you talk to this person, okay? Because you will only know unless you ask, okay? So let's go into the goddess deck, okay? And pick a card out for you guys. I think I am wanting to go here with it. Okay. So, Virgo, you have changing woman, okay, for my divine feminine Virgos, or Virgo, this could be your person, okay, get in where you fit in, okay. Changing woman is perhaps the most revered of deities among the Native Americans of the southwestern United States. She is a holy, benevolent figure, for it is changing woman 
who gives the people their abundance and who provides the teachings that allow them to live in harmony with all things. In the initiation ceremony of Navajo women, the initiate takes in the power of changing woman so that she might learn the values of love, hospitality, and generosity, and know that she herself is a source of food and harmony. Changing woman received her name because she can change at will from a baby to a girl to a young woman to an old woman and then back again. Very much alive today, she is a tremendously nourishing goddess who teaches the wisdom of nature and the cycles of birth and death. Okay, so changing woman. I really like this card. This is the first time I've possibly seen this card come out since I've been doing these readings. And I like the fact that it says her ability is to change from a baby to a girl to a woman to an old woman and then back again. This person possibly does that for you, Virgo, okay? They make you feel like a little girl sometimes, okay? They make you, you know, very shy and quaint and coy and sometimes you feel old at, at times because of your age. You think so much of your age. I don't know if this person that you're with might be younger than you and maybe that is why you feel the older connotation but you are only as old as you feel okay this person may at times in a more emotional and mental sense makes you feel like you're in your 20s or 30s okay whereas just because your physical self is older than that doesn't mean you can't spiritually still be young at heart okay and that person brings that vitality out of you okay it also i like talks about her value um values of love hospitality and generosity this person probably is very enamored with you because of the fact that you provide such a loving energy um, from you, okay? They get a loving energy from you. You are always very gracious. You are already all, always generous to them. Maybe you always feed them. Maybe they love your cooking, things of that nature, okay? So this person, you are a very well-rounded um, woman, changing woman, okay? Very nice card. I like this energy. Okay, so that is probably why this person does so much to get to know you more um, or is clinging to you more possibly um, or wanting more of your time. Okay, um, finding ways to spend time with you because they love your energy. Okay, it's not that they're trying to do anything to you or have ulterior motives or ill intentions. You are the changing woman. You're every woman basically and that is what attracts them to you okay so let them be attracted okay <laughs> so virgo we're gonna go into the animal spirit for the divine masculine side okay and i'm feeling like we're gonna go here with it okay so divine masculines Virgo or your person okay this is the bull okay this is the bull the symbolism of the bull is renewal fertility and growth okay you could be dealing with a possible Taurus okay I had to just throw that out there okay but you don't have to be or you can have Taurus in your chart but you don't have to be okay um, bull, the symbolism for bull is renewal, fertility, and growth. Bull cults were ambiguous in ancient cultures whose deities worshipped the beast as a supreme deity. But the bull was also a symbol of renewal, and the creature was ritually sacrificed with its blood sprinkled on the spring fields to ensure new growth. In ancient Greece, these rituals were associated with Dionysus, the Greek god of vegetation and renewal. Dionysus, who was frequently represented as a bull and sometimes a goat, 
was dismembered by the Titans and subsequently resurrected. The Spanish bullfight is a vestige, vestige of the ancient bull sacrifice. The Minotaur, another deity from Greek mythology, who had the head of a bull in the body of a man, is also associated with sacrifice in the cycle of renewal. The slaying of the Minotaur, the devourer of youth, restores life. Okay, so I like that this card came out and I'm going to place it under this Six of Cups. I mean, Six of Pentacles. Okay, Six of Cups could be coming. Okay, as far as sharing, like I said before. Okay, so Six of Pentacles, you and I'm putting that under there just to say that this is about renewal. Okay, this is about starting over for you, Virgo. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles, you are remembering the value of what a true relationship is in your eyes. Okay, what you see a relationship to be of love and connecting and growing with each other. Okay, that intimacy. Okay, I think that is what you are looking for, okay? And divine masculines or your person is willing to, to provide that to you, okay? They bring new life to you, okay? They breathe new energy into you. And you like it, but you're also scared at the same time because you didn't think you could ever have this before, Virgo, and now you do. And it's like, what do I do? You enjoy it. That's what you do, okay? <laughs> so... Virgos, that is all I have for you today. I'm not going to go into it really deep because it's supposed to be short, okay? But I will definitely see you guys in the next one. We'll definitely be looking for your energy to change as we go throughout the week. Peace.